Hi everybody, Bob Gower from BobCanHelp.com and I'm here with my friend Amjad. I'm staying with him in San Francisco. Came out here from New York a few days ago and um, I, I was telling him how bad he looked this morning and uh, he was saying that he's looked, he looks like this because he's been up for three days uh, or three weeks, weeks three weeks. weeks, seven days a week um, designing, a, d designing a chip. He's, yep. a, he's a chip designer and we were talking about the importance of failure in success and I just wanted to capture for a couple of minutes his thoughts on failure. So go for it. Take it away. Tell me what you tell, right. tell me what you got. Um, I'll start with the quote from uh, one of IBM's founders or presidents, uh, T.J. Watson. Uh, basically, he said, "If you want to increase your success rate, double your rate of failure, or increase your rate of failure." And um, the takeaway for me, at least from that quote, is to just find all of the issues. Try all the different paths that you need to try as quickly as you can. And for me, the way I translate it is, in order to succeed, you got to fail quickly. So I do R&D and chips. I do the kind of chips that are very advanced that nobody yeah. has done before. So there is nobody to really show me what path will work and what path is not going to work. There is some intuition and some experience that helps me, but some of the stuff I can't tell. Right. And so my um, the way I've been working for the last several years now is to try different paths and really quickly, usually in under a week, determine whether this is going to be a successful path or a failure. And I'm not talking just about like whether this kind of circuit is going to work or not. I'm mm -hmm. also I'm talking about even within organizations. I've I've changed companies two or three times. Right. And <clears throat> there are some things that are that might be doable in one company, but not in another. And especially when I start off new, I can't tell if I'm going to be able to marshal enough resources in order for me to accomplish a certain technical feat. So I've also, I also like test the waters very quickly with people, uh, with people and organizations to see if there is going to be a path for me to get to the other side, to get the resources and get like the software tools, yeah. simulation tools. Well, so, but how do you break it up into, um, I mean, you know, you were saying you were just working in one week, you built something. So how do you break it up into small, like, I mean, you're working in hardware and yeah. I, I mean, I hear people in software, so I would say all the time, like. Like, we can't build anything in a week. We can't build anything in two weeks. And I'm always right. like, no, you can. And now here you are in hardware actually building something in a week. So, so, like, so how do you, how, what, what mental models do you use in order to break things down into small chunks so you can test them, whether they're going to fail? So let me, let me give you an example. With, I can't say a whole lot about the details of the project I'm working on. Uh, but it's basically we're trying to build a chip that's mm -hmm. very, very advanced that has not been done before. And when I started, and I've only been at this company for about four months. Yeah. When I started out, people, first of all, completely doubted that it can be done. Right. And uh, as I looked at the way the, the, there is a simulation environment, there are like really expensive, complicated software tools that we need in order to make these kinds of things. Yeah. As I looked at those tools, I also found, so in addition to the uncertainty of whether the, the circuits can be designed or built, yeah. there's also the tools were kind of lacking. Mm -hmm. So I realized that I needed to work at all at the micro level. Mm -hmm. like, can I design a circuit that achieves this goal? Mm -hmm. And the first level of design for me would be I, I design it and I run a simulation with it right. to, to verify that at least in simulation if it works. Yeah. So that's the micro level. But then the macro level of the actual flow, the methodology mm -hmm. of using the tools and the flow of design to get to that point. So there is like a meta mm -hmm. and, and, and a micro level to both of these two guys exactly and i had to hit both and i realized very quickly i had to really kind of fix things at the meta level at the methodology level right and i had to do things at the circuit level okay so and and i was so you're improving your methodology at the same time you're improving your product so you're and, kind of working on both on both, both the levels. process and the product at the right. same time yeah and, continuous and improvement i think is uh, yeah. basically and the the the, la the third part was i'm doing it in an environment where i'm brand new i had just started this company nobody yeah. knows me nobody knows whether I just, I'm just full of it yeah. or whether I actually can do things uh -huh. and the common wisdom is it cannot be done. Right. So I'm starting with everything basically <laughs> kind of stacked, stacked up against me and I made a conscious decision to start showing results uh -huh. on a roughly a two day cycle. Yeah. Sometimes it, it extends up to three days but I got really focused on results within two to three days. That's so beautiful. Like I say, and like I was talking to a, you heard me this morning talking to a software developer who's, you know, like, and I'm urging him to do two weeks, you know, show things in two week cycles because so you can learn. But two day cycles in a hardware environment, that's, that's it's, brilliant. 
it, it, it worked really well. It yeah. was challenging. And you said that it actually also kind of is, you felt like it was helping your career. That like yes, the, you're, it's getting you noticed within the organization as well. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, I pointed out a whole bunch of things that weren't working. For instance, in the environment, in the methodology. That doesn't make you very popular sometimes. Well, and usually it doesn't. <laughs> except usually when I pointed them out, uh -huh. I that was one of the things that I did. That was that was part of my two day cycle. When I go to point them out, I actually also bring with me the solution. Yeah. Like I will go test out a solution, try something we're doing, and I'm like, you know what, we've got this, and this is kind of a dead end for these reasons, the way you're doing it here, but hey, look, without even buying anything new, if we just make these little adjustments over here, yeah. we can do it this way, and it gets faster, and gets better. So Great. instead of gaining enemies, I actually gained a lot of friends because of that, because yeah. I didn't just complain. Yeah. I actually showed, I showed a hole in what they're doing and proposed a solution, and most of the time, I didn't just propose a solution. I actually gave a piece of data mm -hmm. that showed it can be done. And yeah. so there were a lot of people who were ready, by the way, to jump in and say it, this or that can't be done. Yeah. But I headed off almost all of those conversations by having a piece of data whenever I talked about it. Great. Cool. Well, I want to I wanna, wanna wrap this up. Keep it short, keep it simple. But what are the main points? The main points are fail fast, fail often. Fail quickly and, fail, yes. and, and fail often. Um, what else should we say? We incremental delivery. Of value. Chop your goals into as small a timeline as possible, and yeah, and this and I learned this lesson the hard way. Yeah, advertise and popularize your work. I was going to say, make your work visible, make yes. your results visible, make your work visible, and also, you know, I love the thing about don't come with a with a problem, come with a solution, or come yeah. with a problem and the solution at the same time. Anyway, again, my friend Amjad works for an unnamed company. I don't think we'll... We'll, well we shouldn't. We shouldn't name his company, but I'm Bob Gower, bobcanhelp.com, and also with Rally Software. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching.